What's up with the gang? It's your boy, Josh. Back with another video, man. Today we got Young and Ace and Fulio, the demons of Duval County. Now we just uh, reacted to Fulio, When I See You Remix. I was reading the comments because we didn't really know too much about the beef that was going on in Jacksonville. So um, y'all told us to do this. Cause I really don't know. I don't keep tabs on um, Fulio and Ace. I knew they was beefing, but but I never knew what it was for. So hopefully the demons of Duval County. If you're new, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, follow the Instagram. Give me the 20k on Instagram, 200k uh, on here. If y'all not in the Discord, y'all are missing out. We got uh, an E date this Friday. Join. I got a baddie for y'all boys. <laughs> I need W Josh in the comments, man. I got a baddie for y'all. But look, join the Discord. Link in bio. Join the Discord. Y'all are missing out, fam. I promise you. I enjoy. Uh, first off, let me just say, appreciate y'all. Appreciate everybody who, who's part of the channel and who's part of the Discord. I'm really enjoying the... Uh, the Discord. I ain't going. I'm not. I'm not going to lie. We in there I every day. I don't understand everything about the Discord, but uh, from what I do understand, it's it's it's, it's cool. I enjoy getting in there and uh, talking with the folk, the cats who who been putting stuff together and 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 running it, managing and doing you know, uh, moderating the Discord channel. Uh, Jay and Dre. Um, every everybody who who's part of it. There's a whole lot of folk that's, that's doing a whole lot of stuff, man. I appreciate everybody who, who who's part of the Discord, though, man. It's it's, it's, it's I appreciate it. I really do. If y'all got video suggestions or y'all want to just come chat with us, join the Discord. At the same time, man, it's a whole, it's too many video suggestions in there. It's, it's hard to do. We're not gonna, I'm not gonna get to every one of one of those, but man, there's a whole lot of suggestions in there. But a lot of cats in there doing a whole lot of stuff. So I appreciate it, man, for I'm real. Let's get straight to it, gang. So, Fulio and Young and Ace, they got beef, so this like the... Oh, so they don't like each other? No. So why are they doing a video together? <laughs> oh my goodness. This what? is... This is Young and Ace and Fulio, mm -hmm. the demons of Duval County. Mm -hmm. So I guess this is... But they like... So they don't like I guess this is... This is a documentary. This is not a video. A music oh, video. Oh, I thought this was. It's only 15 minutes. Oh, so this is explaining the, the issue? Yeah, that was everybody was requesting this one. Okay. Because we was lost in the last video. Now, I'm gonna tell y'all now, I don't wanna sit and just get caught up on a whole bunch of drama. That's not that's <laughs> drama and beef and all that stuff. I don't This is so when when we do the video they like, like I don't I don't all right. boy, I don't when, like that. In my room right here. I'm gonna shot my house up. I was right here in bed, me and my little brother Quan Quan. And I shot my house up from right up. This is my mama's shit right up. Who is he? They shot my mama's house up. They shot this guy up. My mama they was in the room. They shot that bitch up. My whole, my house always got shot up. They always spent on my shit. But then we doubling back though, for real. Come here though. The ATK. He look, he kind of changed now. Like, he ain't like that. This organization is connected to a string of murders in Jacksonville. There's many names for ATK. Ace's top killers is one. Nine people. You know, potentially responsible for the 15 murders that we know of, and and who knows what else. The day we we're shooting scenes for um, when I see you, who I smoke, uh -huh. who I smoke came out of nowhere, went crazy, kind of made it more mainstream to where people who don't even know y'all, they were tapped into it. Did you make them do that? Oh, how I, I took it too far when they made a song for a speaker. Once the dead get involved, it's already too far. Alright, what is up? Okay, wait, wait, now, now, okay, now, that was Young and Ace? No, oh, that's full of y'all. Remember, he was explaining, uh, he just, he was explaining how he went to that grave site and saying how he, he not oh, really, okay, okay, he not okay. really going too far because they mentioned his dead partners. Ace, it is going too far, but both. Ace dissed fully your dead people. So fully your went to his dead people. Oh, oh. Grave site. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. So Ace, Ace, okay, Ace, you was wrong as four left shoes there. Y'all ain't doing it's that. It's been going. Yeah, I did. Cool. Hear, I did hear Ace start. I don't know. Last few months, the most talked about song on social media is the Why Smoke video. I remember doing that. Yeah. It exposed the mainstream to the deadliest rap feud that's been going on for years. 
and it's happening in Jacksonville, Florida. Rappers from there are on a completely different wave, hiding the clues to revenge killings inside their music videos, taking the beats from classic pop songs, and trying to rap the most demonic shit over it. Young and Ace and his crew remixed the classic Vanessa Carlton song, A Thousand Miles, and flipped it, filming at a plush golf course, smoking cigars, all while dancing to lyrics that celebrate the deaths of their rival crew, led by the rapper Fulio out of North Jacksonville. Who I Smoke went viral, hitting 16 million views in one month, and getting reactions from all the biggest influencers online. Who I smoke? Say it. No! <laughs> hey, Fulio, come get this nigga before he play with your top. This is one of the most savage videos I've seen. Just, you know why? They show one gun in the video. But the way they seem to be just nonchalantly have like enjoy life while clowning <laughs> the niggas who died? Oh, so okay, so, okay. to retaliate in a darker, more ominous way, uh -huh. remixing a classic fantasy. Okay, so when we reacted to it, <laughs> we totally missed. No, I don't think I, I don't. I don't think I missed it. But. I'm saying, did you know that there was beef and all that stuff? Yeah. Well, I know I didn't. So folk probably, probably, y'all probably hate it. <laughs> <laughs> hated some of that. Okay. Okay. The song, and in the music video, printing out a big poster of two of Ace's friends and his blood brother who died by Ace's side in a drive-by shooting outside a Japanese steakhouse. Ace was the only one in the car who survived. Since then, both Fuyo's crew and Young and Ace's crew released this song after this song towards each other, leaving hidden messages in the music videos. Got kidnapped, they found his poems, he was right. Where is Corbin? Where is Corbin Johnson? The 18 year old's parents say they dropped him off last week at a job interview and they never saw him again. Left his house Wednesday night. Here's a picture of him behind us. And there's little in the way of clues as to where he might be. Corbin ass was lost until they found him in that bag. Oh. Corbin Johnson was last seen alive in July of last year. Then last Friday, a man discovered the, the victim's skeletal remains. What makes this situation real cold wow. is some of the folks beefing are literal cousins. Blood relatives caught up mm. on opposite ends of the feud. Yeah, now, it is your cousin. They fuck your cousin, man. That's your real cousin? That nigga cousin, don't give a f that nigga cousin. Now, we're getting into all this, but first wow. I got my guy Millie's with Jim Jones for the song of the day today. This is Heightened Senses. Let's go. Trying to turn a pandemic to a pandemic. All right. In order to understand this story, we gotta go to the biggest city in the country in terms of land size that's not in Alaska, and that's Jacksonville, Florida. Florida's always had a huge presence in rap music, especially in the last two decades. But its biggest city, Jacksonville, never really got any mainstream success until now. And that's all because of these viral diss records between two crews. Young and Ace is the face of ATK Gang, which mostly occupies the west side of Jacksonville. His rival Fulio is the face of KTA, alias Kill Them All, which is an alliance between two groups. Fulio's gang from the north and Young and Reckless, a crew from the south side. What's worse about this beef I just is hate the we always got to fight. Camps had at one point in time. Ace and Fulio were never exactly close, but they did have mutual friends such as Queso, did who they? right now is locked he up looks with like his own the, father, uh, charged for two burdens, including the killing of Fulio's blood brother. Young boy Bibby. doesn't like. After Bibby's murder, well, Queso like would nobody. notoriously walk around he, wearing he, Bibby uh, jerseys, herbal, taking herb, photos you know like it was a trophy. The, he he looks like released dude. an album in 2019, putting images of his dead ops as the cuss of the Mount Rushmore of fallen rivals. Jacksonville Police, or JSO, are notorious for not cracking cases. In fact, 70% of murders in the city go unsolved. Wow. So folks online came up with the catchphrase, JSO loves queso, for the simple fact that he telegraphs what he's doing on social media. You see a like What Come is queso? Come here, boy! It All the Queso songs have millions of views on YouTube, and he was actually very close with King Von. The two had music together. Queso even appeared in that infamous video where Quando Rondo and Von were joking around with each other back when they were on good terms. Dirty ass! <laughs> Queso wow. was there as well. But back in Jacksonville, Queso had a well known reputation for demonic antics. He famously tried to organize a team deathmatch in real life with his own cousins, who repped the rival gang, KTA. What's up, where you at? Come on, I do a uh, team deathmatch. Right now? Yeah, I'll do words on too. Look at my cousins. They, we looking like. My cousins don't want to talk. Okay, okay. When he said. He trying to act all hard. When he said like a death match, what what? He basically saying let's let's like <laughs> he never, said let's ne never mind. I don't even want to know. No, he's saying it ain't nothing. Uh, he's saying let's pull up and like kill each other basically. Like 
a team death match. Like he just said, you, t- y'all two against us two, like and have a shootout. What kind of sense does that make? They got the black hoodies on. One of the cousins on that live was named Lil Nine. A month after that back and forth, Lil Nine was leaving a gas station when his car was ambushed. Shot 12 times from a rifle inside another car, sending him crashing into a rent-a-wheel tire shop, where Lil Nine was pronounced dead at the scene. While folks at the tire store were trying to revive him, Lil Nine's friend who was in the crash with him was frantically walking around filming inside the store. Fuck niggas played. Played. <laughs> Fuck niggas played. Fuck niggas played, man. Of course, Queso responded with a video of his own, laughing. Get out! <laughs> Get out! Then Queso's blood brother, also Lil Nine's cousin, would recreate Lil Nine's death video from the tire shop. Y'all fuck niggas played. What? Y'all fuck okay, niggas stop. played. Hmm? Did I hear him right? This it, one cousin was celebrating the other cousin's death? The cousins was beefing with each other. It is it's never that serious. That's crazy. That is crazy. It is never that serious. And they, they, what were they beef? What are they beefing about? <sighs> Sixty days later, Queso dropped a music video, and in it, we see him putting a photo of his own deceased cousin, Lil Nine, in the microwave. See, the crazy Dang. part is, everybody that's beefing, at one point in time, was cool. Queso met Young and Ace in the ninth grade, they've been friends ever since, but the rival Fulio likes to remind Queso that back in 2015, he was hanging with them, and even had the nickname Six Block Queso for his affiliation with Fulio's gang, Six Block. Even Young and Ace admits he was a fan of Fulio's music before their beef really escalated, but a series of unfortunate events would draw lines in the same. Okay, sand. so Fulio... Had to quickly. Okay, so fully, I really didn't have an understanding. Um, but we do reactions. I'm not trying to deep dive into everybody's beef and issues and be on the right side of it. At the end of the day, you're gonna have beef with people, but the goal is not is not about it's not about beef, it's about figuring out ways to squash beef. <laughs> this is some crazy mess. So, 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 Young and Ace actually started that stuff, and Fulio's was actually a response to Young and Ace. Mm hmm. That's what this video is saying. Okay. Man. Okay. It's in YNR territory, Young and Reckless, a crew led by YNR Mookie and his lieutenant, Slugga T. Ace and his gang show up to the party and get into an argument with YNR's leader, Mookie. Shots were fired, and a bullet grazed Mookie's skin, with his lieutenant, Slugga T, shooting back. But Ace and his crew managed to escape the party, leaving Young and Reckless and Ace's crew on bad terms. On top of that, YNR's leader Mookie was already friends with Fulio's cousin. This made it easy for YNR and Fulio's gang to click up, creating an alliance under the name KTA, or Kill Them All, with one enemy in common, Young and Ace and ATK. The trends in Jacksonville at the time were not good. It was marking wow. an increase in the murder rate year on year. In 2017, Ace would drop the song Go to War. This was an open invitation to anyone opposing ATK to retaliate. Not long after, Ace's home was shot up, but the tipping point was soon to come. A few months later, one of Ace's friends was out on a mission, looking to avenge a robbery that had happened to him. He knew exactly where the robber was, on the west side of Jacksonville, at Fulio's cousin's house. So he snuck into the house, throwing a brick through the sliding door. Entering from the back where he began shooting. No mask, no gloves. He couldn't get who robbed him, and instead he ended up killing Fulio's cousin, Zion, and wounding a nine-year-old girl. If this was the start of a war, Zion's death was the catalyst. Not long after, Zion's sister was shot 14 times in an attempt to prevent her from going to trial and testifying. She miraculously survived, and young Anasis' friend who did the shooting was sentenced to life. But things were just getting started. Fulio's cousin being the first death in the beef Men KTA were looking to get yes. revenge swiftly. Man. They needed to make an example. Ace's music was starting to pick up steam. His new song, F That, was getting millions of views on Worldstar in mere days. Fans were already comparing him to Youngboy. Then a week later, this happened. Four young men were in this car when they were shot. The vehicle pulled up to their Chevy sedan, opened fire, then took off. And one is in critical condition at the hospital. Keontae Bullard, the only survivor of the quadruple shooting, 
It's a Tuesday. He did a video about 2018. one. Okay, Ace, okay, his brother, okay. And two friends okay. are going to Wasabi, a Japanese steakhouse, for Ace's friend's 18th birthday. Everyone was in good spirits, taking photos. It was a celebration. But little did they know, the whole time, they were under surveillance. Rivals had found out their location because of Ace's Instagram story, taking photos outside mm. the steakhouse. Ace even recorded his friends eating inside the restaurant and posted that too. So their enemies waited outside, watching them eat, then followed them leaving wow. the restaurant, driving along the highway. When they got to a red light, the shooters opened fire on the passenger side of Ace's car, killing his two best friends and his brother, leaving Ace in critical condition. It was a quadruple shooting, and Fulio got the news before anyone else did, except he thought Ace was dead. <laughs> the boy lost the Fortnite match. <laughs> he said they lost the Fortnite. He said they lost a Fortnite match. Two, three pack, man. Ace pack, this. Of course, Ace survived, but he lost everything. His brother he and his dropped that pain friends. video. The attention, however, was that. helping grow his career. NBA Youngboy would FaceTime him to record a song, and it also motivated Ace to make his biggest record ever called Pain, which went viral and as we speak, we do has 50 one? million yeah. views on YouTube. But the blood spilling was not over. Every okay. time Ace would drop a song, okay. his rival YNR Mookie would use the same song titles to make a diss track. The Jacksonville police even created a whole new department called the Violence Reduction Strategy Team, whose whole job was to basically comb through music videos from both camps looking for clues. The assistant chief even said in an interview, I don't think their primary goal is to entertain, but they are making real rap music. And at the top of the next year, in February 2019, music, but... <laughs> Fulio's little brother, Bibi, was saying. the next target for assassination. Wow. Bibi was just 16 at the time, and he was coming home from school one day in his own neighborhood on the north side of Jacksonville at the Hilltop Apartments. He was sitting on a gazebo in the courtyard of his complex with a friend. The two were looking at their phones when all of a sudden, pounding gunfire erupted. Bibi and his friend dropped the phone and jumped. Both started running in different directions, frantically looking for cover. A total of 60 rounds were shot in under 15 seconds. Bibi was killed instantly. A year later, when the court documents were unsealed, the police named Queso as the gunman responsible for Bibi's murder, saying that they drove for hours, circling the complex, parking, waiting, until finally springing out and unleashing Draco rounds in Bibi's direction. Then Queso allegedly walked up to Bibi, who was on the ground, shielding himself from the gunfire, and executed him at close range before fleeing the apartment complex in a gray Nissan. The court documents also mention Queso's affinity for wearing Bibi jerseys and posting it to his IG page in celebration. Queso's bond is currently set wow. at $4 million. For Fulio, losing his brother and his cousin in a short period of time was devastating. But 2019 was also the year his music was going to the next level. A million views, back okay. to back okay. to back. See, to that makes more sense, but it's it still crazy. That is so was sad. a big deal in Florida, but not quite big enough to be touring the country on his own. Unlike his rival Young and Ace, who was booking shows in multiple states. Just a month after Fulio's brother died, Ace was performing at a nightclub in Waycross, Georgia. Him and his crew went back to the hotel to relax by the pool when they were suddenly ambushed. An SUV pulled up and a group of guys hopped out shooting. Queso was there and didn't hesitate for one second to shoot back. One of Queso's boys, Rallo, died at the pool in that shootout. Only Ace's side got arrested for shooting back. The other gunmen were never found by police. Queso would say the quiet part out loud in his song Been Dead, where the lyrics go, Should've killed me in Waycross, they hopped out with the K's. Me and Scotty bussin' back, we were on the same page. That's the same music video where he puts his cousin Lil Nine in the microwave. A month after dropping this song, Queso was arrested Man. for a whole different murder alongside his father, who was charged with accessory after the fact. Allegedly, oh, they were I getting revenge on a rival rapper named KTA Lil Buck, who dissed Queso's older brother that died in a van full of Queso's relatives when two cars rolled up, blocking them off, and put a hundred bullets inside the car. Wow, Lil Buck was Fulio's nice. close friend and a high-priced target that ATK got the drop on. Allegedly rolling up at 11 in the morning while he was applying for a job to assassinate him. Queso posted to his Insta story right after saying, I kill a dude, then get my toes done. Receiving a pedicure with the caption, kill a n-word, then go get my toes done. This wasn't the first hit done outside a job site. Another. So then was the, um, I remember seeing that. So the, the dad and the son killed this dude, right? 
And then the dad turned around and he he started snitching on the son to police. Like, oh no, nah, that was my son killing him. Like, would you do that? First off, I'm not getting involved in no shootout with or for you. I'm kick your t- <laughs> I'll punch you in your head. Jump your out. Your Beef head with Young and Ace and ATK was killed while waiting in line to apply for a job at an Amazon crazy. warehouse. Crazy. Dang. To the infamous line on who he I got smoked, killed at an Amazon so out where he was working interview. And clocked them out. The war had escalated to a point where, no matter where they were, no matter See, who it was, one I didn't side know was what that was. The These boys the shoot on the We can count a dozen of Fulio's friends who are locked up, and YNR Mookie, and Slugga T are behind bars too. Even Fulio's girlfriend got shot in the head. Y'all thought I was dead. Y'all ain't underscore this yet, boy. And to this day, Young and Ace still has a bullet casing in his butt. From the quadruple shooting outside the wasabi stadium. In his butt. That's it for this video. <laughs> Let me know what you want though. me to cover in the comments below, and I will see you in the next one. Wow. That is so sad. So why did you have us reacting to that? What you mean they was I didn't even know about this until they said something. <laughs> But that did like clear up like what we was thinking. But nah, that's, that's sad. That's really that's 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 sad. That is sad. Them boys shooting on sight. One got killed at an Amazon interview. One got killed at a tire shop. Nah, them boys. It's, it's crazy. It's like it's. There's no way. So, so, what's what's not being said is that they probably have some other beef within the family because you know family members know who and what and cousins, all that stuff. Cousins not, killing cousins. That's not cool. Sons and daddies killing, and then they snitching on each other. But Ace Ace that's Loki amazing. calmed down now. Like he he okay. calmed down. I hope so because that is so unnecessary. But uh. Hey, shout out to y'all, man, for that video. Yeah, cause... Discord, the Discord channel. I appreciate y'all because I'm glad that y'all picking picking music now. Cause uh, yeah, other folk, you know, they pick what they what they want, but I'm glad y'all picking <laughs> some songs. If you're new, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, follow the Instagram. Give me the 20k on Instagram, 200k on here. If you ain't wearing no socks, subscribe, man. Man, if you remember the little the little old white lady from the commercial that actually said, "Where's the beef?" Go ahead and like, comment, or subscribe. Y'all be safe, gang. Peace. <laughs>